Hey, welcome back. This is the third video and I'm going to show you how to make them display on the front end. Up till now, we've gotten the form to save to our custom post type and I'm sure you can use that in the projects that you need. Uh, now, we're going to try to get it to work on the front end. So, these are already uh, saved. Uh, I'm going to publish this as well. Okay. All right. So we've already done that. Uh, let's go and make a new page. And like I said, I'm using breakdance for this. Uh, so um, we're just going to use that for the example here while by uh, on how to use a builder to do that. Uh, I know you can do this in oxygen and bricks as well. So should be good with that. Oh, I need to edit with breakdance. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's add a uh, oh, let's add a section and we are going to add a loop. Oops. There we go. Wonder if I have a global I do have a global block. I'm going to make a global block and I'll be back. I won't be back. This is just me adding the global block. So we're just going to add one for reviews. And in there, all we need to do is load uh, these two fields, uh, name field and the phone number. So we're going to do that right now. And I'll, I'll jump, we'll jump cut to that point. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make a div and we're going to add a heading in there and <laughs> heading and make that heading name field and then we'll add a text link. We can add that link there, right? We can add the link as, um, it'll be a phone number technically, but Oh yeah, we can't, yeah, well, I would like to actually add it directly. So yeah, just change, we gotta change the, the, the fields to be a link field for it to open here, but we'll just not do that for now. What we're gonna do is I'll just, yeah, cause it really, I didn't, I need, I prepared this for, um, what is it, the short code. So we're gonna add a phone number here directly and not worry about it. Okay, cool. So this is saved as reviews and we're going to go and add this, uh, add the reviews global uh, block as a card in our post loop builder. So in here, yep. All right, let's add reviews and change the query so it's custom edit query and post types is reviews okay there you go all right it's got long phone number so yeah there you go that's that's all we need to do there and um it all worked so we're done right now Let's get into the other builders that are not able to customize those cars easily. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop in a bunch of code, right? And of course you will be able to copy paste it off of the website with the link down below and you're, you're going to have to modify it. I'll just walk you through how it's been written and what means what, and hopefully it'll be enough for you to start writing uh, or editing stuff and I've done some really cool parts for you and you can check that out I'll show you in a second and also um, you're gonna probably have to write the CSS yourself uh, but you know it's better than trying to edit like a whole builder trying to make it you know do things you can rather just um, use uh, a short code instead okay so uh, I'll change the testimonials to reviews just because that 
is what I did here. There we go. Okay, cool. So this short code, where it go? Okay, this short code has attributes. All right, so you know what attributes are, right? So um, you can put, you can type in something equals and then inside quotation marks and then you put in an, a, a certain attribute and it, that short code will take that and use that when it renders on the front end. And the only attribute I added here is limit and we're gonna limit it to a certain number. If it's blank, it'll default to five. Otherwise, you can actually add um, a number and it will show only that many uh, reviews, okay? So for example, this is what it should look like. Like two, for example, okay? All right, um, so that becomes a new, so we're gonna use that into a new query. We're gonna make a new query off of that and it's based off of um, AI review. Right, I think that's what we have here. It's, it was singular, yeah, AI review. So that's what's loading. And we're gonna, po the post per, per, posts per page gets its number from um, the attribute that we just put in. And they're gonna be ordered by date in ascending order, okay? Now, if you wanna learn more, there's so much more about uh, WordPress queries. It's over here and you can see order by, you can look at all these guys and if you want to add extra stuff, you can look at that and um, you'll be able to add more lines like this. Just copy this format and you can add more lines. For example, if it's a post status publish, um, then you can add that here, publish. Of course it has to be published, right? But um, this is just an example of how you could try this, okay? Uh, all right, so those are the uh, the, 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 the query uh, arguments that are passing through, and then that will become this new query. Output is, output starts off like this, and whenever you see this dot equals, it adds to it. It keeps adding to it, all right? And everything that is added inside is in here it's in the while loop okay and that means that that will run as many times as we've already given this number which will be um two in this case in this case right and it will run add all this code to the output variable twice and then it will add this to the end so it closes it off and that's how you make that html loop I'm not loop, HTML uh, structure, I guess. Uh, and this is an unordered list. It's put in a list form, and these are list items. And right now, all I have is name and phone number, but I, I added some extra stuff that will be pretty cool for you. So here's what we did. Um, we don't need, we don't need the, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so name is, it, we get it, we get name from the field, okay? And what that name does is it is divided up into a bunch of pieces, all right? So name, you can have first and last name or three names, right? And what, what I do here is you get the first name, we'll keep that first name, that is the zeroth uh, part of that explosion of the strings. And then the last name, comes from the first word of that string and it takes that first letter off of that. So what you actually get is inside an H3, inside span class name name, you get the first name space, space and the first letter of the last name. If you wanna add a period after that, like an abbreviation, then you can add just add that there, it'll work but that's what that is. So if you put whatever, so for example, if we put, we put in copy this, and that means that you will actually get copy T, okay? That's what you're getting here. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. So you might, might as well enjoy that, right, using that. And another thing that I added is phone number. Now, 
phone numbers if there are links and if you click it. Um, I know it's like you can format it in many different ways. Uh, spaces. I, I feel I'm, I'm a little bit um, unsure of spaces or hyphens inside the tell link, the telephone link, as you see here. So what I always do is I always, um, I don't need this style. So I always uh, clean it up. So I take out all the spaces and that is what is happening here. Okay. So I take phone number from the field and then you have phone number here, take out all the spaces or the hyphens and then make a very clean number only uh, variable here. Put that in the href. So that is a link. And when it's displayed, it will still display as its full number the way that it was inputted. Okay, so let's let's actually try something like that. And we're going to add that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's let's assume that people did that. All right. Cool. All right. Let's go here and let's take out this post loop uh, and we're going to add that short code. So this short code has been saved. Oh, it's not been saved yet. So you see that little circle there? That means this file has not been saved. If you command S, then that circle goes away and it becomes an X. And this is sublime, by the way, sublime text editor. That goes away and that means that it's been saved, okay? Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes here while I was explaining this. So let's see if this works. This hopefully should. All right, we're gonna add, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna add short code. All right, yeah. So you see new N P K S. Yeah, it's just the first letter, right? Now, in this case, you can actually just style it with CSS and it'll just take the first letter. Um, oh, this is in ascending order. We need to use descending order for it to be, um, yeah, descending order for it to uh, start from the most recent one from copy this. So let's give that a try. Copy this, yep. And that shows with um, the hyphen, but if you hover over it, and if you look down here, if you hover over it, that hyphen is gone. Cool, all right, so that's that's how you do it, all right? Now, it will take a little bit of time, and it is a little painstaking to write all this HTML and get those um, uh, PHP variables to load and everything, but at least I did some of the harder parts for you. The rest is just loading things this way, okay? put it into a field, uh, put it into a variable, and then load it by get field, and then put it into this output string here, okay? When you parse out of the output uh, single quotations, you parse out with a single quotation on either side, and then you put in a variable with a dot dot on either side, and that will put things in there like that, okay? so. Um, I think that's about it. So that's all the code that you need and you can get all of this to work and it is very custom. You can do exactly what you want and it's all good. All right. I guess the only thing that we have left is technically, um, getting those, getting the submission form page uh, to be hidden in some way. Like I said, you can use a no index. You can use, uh, most builders have a way of doing it like password or behind a membership login or even membership plugins can do that. If you want to give them a membership, uh, like if you're a business directory, you want to give them a membership and then have them submit their own business details and stuff that all works. You can load it any way you want. You can even filter it if you want, if you use, uh, if you build this part really well, or if you build your um, uh, card really well, global block really well, then you can filter it. You can do a lot of stuff. This has the potential for the website to have really, really cool um, functionality and really, really cool way of reaching the users or at least having a special group of users being able to submit some really cool stuff. Okay, hope this all helped. Hope you're excited to get using this and starting to use this. Uh, and I will see you around. All right. Like, and subscribe and see you around. Bye.